Hello everyone, it's Miros and today I'm doing the ultimate battery test between iPhone 14 Pro, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and Oppo Find N2 Flip. Yes, this is a flip device I will compare with the flagships. Why I'm doing this? Because I just want to show you that the flippable devices are at their peak moment and they can compare with the flagship devices in terms of battery. Or at least Oppo Find N2 Flip can do this because this battery is amazing and I will compare it with S23 Ultra and iPhone 14 Pro. Which one will last longer? We'll check at the end of the video and of course I have a surprise for you at the end of the video so stay tuned and watch till the end. By the way this video took me more than 12 hours to create it so please consider a subscribe and like my videos. In today's test we will do some social network testing, some YouTube video testing, some uh, benchmarks, some Microsoft Teams and almost everything everyone is using in their everyday life. And which device will win at the end, the smaller one, the bigger one or the device in the middle. Now let's move to the actual test and see what's happened. Here we are starting the test with the screens at 70% brightness for every device. Every device is uh, charged to 100% and of course they are 120Hz displays and here or we are already unplugged them and start with the social network test. Of course iPhone 14 Pro has the smallest battery, 3200mAh and Oppo Find N2 Flip has uh, 4300 mA and S23 Ultra has 5000mAh. And so we will uh, continue and check which device has uh, performing best with their battery. So for now you can see we are already 45 minutes of uh, using TikTok and Instagram and iPhone is 99%, 96% for uh, Oppo Find N2 Flip and 97% for S23 Ultra. Of course guys I didn't own uh, one of those uh, fancy lux meters to calibrate the screens but I think uh, if I put uh, all of them to 70% uh, brightness everything uh, will be fine. Here we are moved to uh, YouTube testing, one hour of social networking is uh, already passed. So 97% here for the iPhone, 94% for the Oppo and 95% for the Samsung S23 Ultra. And uh, now we are moving further, one hour and a half is already passed and the biggest surprise here guys, remember I'm recording this uh, here, the, the whole video, the timer which is counting now, I'm using my Pixel 1, yes Pixel 1 with uh, the newly screen I just installed and the new battery inside it so it will uh, measure these new devices, the older guy will measure these uh, newer ones, so 95% for now for the iPhone, 91% for the Oppo and 93% for the S23 Ultra and here we are already past 2 hours of uh, testing and uh, YouTube uh, is uh, already enough, I, I already stopped it, 90% for uh, as uh, for uh, iPhone 14 Pro, 85 for the Oppo and 88 for the S23 Ultra. Here guys, I made a mistake because I just uh, left my home and you can see that uh, tempo run test is just failed. These uh, two devices, Oppo and iPhone, just uh, turn off their screen and uh, Samsung S23 Ultra just uh, dim the screen and that's uh, just for one hour. So. Probably here the S23 Ultra will drain uh, a little bit more battery than the other two, but maybe this will be a percent or two, nothing more. This is just my mistake, but I think it's not a big one, so we can move and continue the test. So the three hours uh, test already passed, uh, one, hours of, one hour of uh, tempo run 2 using on the three devices, it's not fully test but uh, here you can see this is the hand of uh, my wife, so I can say now I have a second member in my team, we are starting again a second test of uh, TikTok and uh, Instagram, so 89% for the iPhone after three hours and a half. Uh, 81 for the Oppo and 81 for the S23 Ultra and you can see that uh, the iPhone uh, 14 Pro battery is draining 
a little bit slower but every iPhone is performing like this uh, at the beginning the battery is very good but at the end you will see what will happen so we are almost uh, end with the second uh, social network testing uh, and we are almost uh, passing uh, the four hours limit we can see what happened here yes the four hours is passed and I will now stop uh, that social network uh, test 83% for the iPhone 77 for the Oppo and respectively 78 for the S23 Ultra here I am uh, pushing uh, 20 minutes demanding test of uh, extreme uh, wildlife stress test on 3D Mark this is uh, probably the best test, uh, the best benchmark test you can do, it is just draining everything from these devices. So the test is end, you can see what happened here, stability for the iPhone is uh, 64%, 48 uh, and 6 for the Oppo, and how much battery is draining, almost 12% uh, for the S23 Ultra, almost 8% uh, for the Oppo and what we have here for the iPhone for the iPhone it is draining 13% from the battery so now it's 68% 65 for the Oppo and 64 for the S23 Ultra and we are going now for the second uh, round of uh, YouTube because I just want to cool down a little bit the devices after that I will start uh, Genshin Impact which is absolutely uh, demanding game which will drain everything from these uh, CPUs and their batteries you will see after that because YouTube is not draining much from the iPhone and uh, from the other two devices but Genshin Impact will do this and you can see uh, what will happen after the YouTube test the second round of YouTube test by the way, the stability of uh, the iPhone and the S23 Ultra is uh, almost the same with the 3D Mark test. Here I'm starting now the Genshin Impact and of course I'm pushing everything to the max. So graphics are set to max for every device. Keep in mind Oppo Find NT Flu uh, Flip has uh, MediaTek Dimensity 9000 Plus and uh, it is uh, not in par with uh, the, uh, the Apple A16 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 but it is performing very well you can see the game is uh, running smoothly without any stutter lags or anything maybe a little bit but it is uh, the, the CPU is very good because it is very battery friendly so we are 6 hours and 15 minutes already 60% for the iPhone 57 for the Oppo and 57 for the S23 Ultra but now when the game ends I will show the actual uh, percentage of the battery and you can see how much this game is draining from these devices almost 30% from the batteries is going here you can see 33 for the iPhone 31 uh, for the Oppo and 31 for the Samsung so uh, Oppo and Samsung are now in par uh, iPhone is uh, getting down it's getting worse and here I'm using now a video meeting with uh, Microsoft Teams I cut a little bit from the video where uh, I entered my details in the Teams but here now I'm using one hour of uh, video call meeting uh, on the Microsoft Teams and you can see what's happened iPhone is already going uh, very quickly draining the battery 22% already 27 for the Oppo and 27 for S23 Ultra and now the iPhone will start uh, draining the battery very fast that's why I already tell you that uh, uh, at the beginning every iPhone is uh, starting with 100% battery and it's draining very slowly but at the end the battery goes very fast so already 70% for the iPhone, 25, 24 for the Oppo and Samsung, they are going in par. Here I'm recording uh, 4K 60 FPS on the three devices for 30 minutes. iPhone is uh, almost dead, it is uh, 3%. Now it will just completely die. At 8 hours iPhone 14 Pro is completely die from our test but Oppo and Samsung S23 Ultra are still recording 4K 60 FPS for the Samsung S23 Ultra and 30 FPS for the Oppo because it can handle 60 FPS 4K. 
Now they are at 12% both devices and ju I'm just uh, pushing again Genshin Impact at the maximum graphic settings until the batteries are died for the, bot uh, for the both devices. You can see Samsung screen was dimmed and it is already died and 8 hours 29 minutes. And the winner is Oppo Find N2 Flip with 8 hours and 34 minutes just win for uh, over the S23 Ultra and over the iPhone 14 Pro with uh, Apple A16 Bionic, Oppo Find N2, uh, Find N2 Flip is uh, using MediaTek Dimensity 9000 Plus and S23 Ultra is using Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and the winner is Oppo Find N2 Flip. I can't believe that the flippable device beats the other two flagships with the best battery life with 8 hours and 33 minutes of demanding battery test so guys that was it thanks for watching and of course have a nice day